My father died six months ago. Since he and my mother divorced, we'd had our problems. I hadn't seen him as often as I'd meant to. You know how it is. You think you've got all the time in the world to sort things out. There's always something else to be doing. You'll call him next week. Then the letter from the lawyers, and suddenly it's all too late. Nothing you can do. All the words you wanted to say. Silenced. Forever. My father was the pastor at a Cornish village. He was well liked. Had time for everyone. Except his son. I can't explain it. But lately, I've begun to dream about a house. Incredibly vivid dreams. I had other dreams at that time, too. Just as real, but not unpleasant. Quite the opposite. I was certain that I'd never met her. But that she really existed. Somewhere. Then the priest came to see me. He was the kind of person my father always disliked and mistrusted. I nearly shut the door in his face. But something stopped me. He said his name was Elias Camber. Apparently, he and Dad met at a conference a couple of years ago and kept in touch, off and on, by letter. He told me the letters had become very agitated over the last few months. Father had discovered something about a strange house on the outskirts of the village. Something terrible. Then there were no more letters. Just a parcel a week before Dad died, with a covering note asking Camber to make sure I got it. Almost all of what Camber told me was a lie. There's no priest of that name in Cornwall. I checked. I ignored the whole thing for a while. Didn't want to think about it, I suppose. But the dreams have been getting worse. days ago, I opened the parcel. Fragments of some carved objects. Some of the pieces are missing. I've looked in every reference book I can think of. I'm none the wiser for what they might be. I do know they're powerful. So here I am, at the house Camber spoke of, the house of my nightmares. I feel I've been brought here by something. I don't know what it is, or what it wants.
Hmm. Elias Camber, if I'm not mistaken. He's holding a mask. Those eyes almost look real. There's a label on this. Colt trademark. Novel. Look Homeward Angel. There's something sticking out of the pages. Typed. Won't budge. Open. Good. Rat. No head. painting of a sarcophagus. such a joy to see you again, my boy. I wish with all my heart that I could send you away from here. Adam, please don't turn away from me. I need your help. You must free me. I am dead. Yes. My body lies beneath the gravestones. But my soul is trapped. Tormented by the darkness that inhabits this place. You are my only hope. This is my prison and my jailer. Binding me against my will to suffer the tortures of the damned. The damned is what they are. I cannot help you beyond this message. It is not just a matter of my son's destiny. Stakes are far greater than you can possibly imagine. Dad, please. I don't understand. You must try, my boy. Find Alf. He is a kindred spirit and will be as a brother to you. Once a proud knight, he too is held. They returned. Adam, for the love of God, remember these words. Remember my warnings. 
You are the last hope. <laughs>